All right, guys, quick unboxing. This box actually got some weight to it, man. Let's check it out. So this was sent in by my buddy Casper of Ghost Watches. Get it? Casper the Ghost. Um, so also, uh, congrats to my buddy Casper for his recent... Uh, wow, just go ahead and bump the camera there. Uh, recent uh, job. Um, I guess promotion? <laughs> well, I'm going to cut myself. That's... That's why you guys tune in. You guys want to see me uh, cut myself. Why can I not? Casper really taped this thing up good. There must be gold inside, I tell you. All right, I see another address label, so I gotta be careful. I redacted some of it there, but. All right, let's, let's peel the watches out. So there's a Seiko. Here is a I'm not sure, a vintage not sure. It's just kind of an old looking box. And I think I recognize this. This is the Borealis. So he sent me a few watches here. Ooh, that is a really nice looking Adraga. Dang, brand new, man. Do you not even wear this? So that's that really nice blue dial with the Merc hands. That's a really nice looking. Adraga. And I haven't done a video on this particular model, so I will do a video on that before it gets listed. So next up, oh, check that out. Nice red Yama box. Yeah, that's nice looking. Smaller one. I know um, Casper is typically into a little bit smaller sized watches. So there is a nice Yama Heritage. I think that's what it's called. Superman or something. Got a little ding on the bezel there. He wore it. It's pre-loved. All right, let's move that out of the way. I know I got too much stuff going on here. Let's check out the um, Seiko uh, SKX013. So again, with a smaller size, and this one's modded. So you can see you have uh, Arabics all the way around. So it's a, a Seiko 5's dial, and then it has a smooth bezel on it, a signed crown. I wonder if it's... If you swap the movement too, it's got a nice bracelet on it too. I have only personally modded one of these. Oh wow, yeah, he modded the movement too. So this is a full build on this one. So this is a really nice SKX013 kind of more explorer type looking to it. Um, all right, let's see what's in this older looking box here. I can. Yeah. I was trying to open it the wrong way. So there it is. It's a Melbourne Watch Company. Pretty cool looking packaging. I know I'm a little off frame here. Oh, wow, that's nice. I like the integrated lugs. Again, it's all wrapped up. Looks like a really forest green type dial to it. So again, I haven't done a video on this particular one, so I'll do a video on this as well. So butterfly clasp, I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, integrated bracelets I do like, and it's a nice H-link. So we'll do a, a video on that and check it out. So big thanks to Casper for sending this over. He has a YouTube channel, in case you didn't know. I will put a link to his YouTube channel down in the description. Check it out. Tell him I sent you. See you on the next vid.